Hello, B Baseball World. We are back with another episode of the Beatball Blue Show. Neil Dog back here again with Bam Bam. Hi, Seth Dog. It's been a while. Uh, Neil Dog, man, Neil Dog. How be you? I, I see I might have missed things for, <laughs> over the last few weeks, man. You know, yeah. everybody says, oh, I'm, I'm the controversial one. Oh, I don't think so, man. I don't yeah. think so, man. Right. I'm the first one to ho- holler out peace. I, I think it's official now that we probably can't have Demo back on the show. I mean, he comes on to co-host, and here we are. We're having to retrack and go through uh, things we've already been it. through. See, he doesn't. He don't know how to manage you, Neil Dog. You know, you got to <laughs> be able. To, you got to be able to manage Neil Dog. You can't just let Neil <laughs> Dog roll, man. You know, you got got to reel him in at times. You got to keep him on that leash. <laughs> there's what? our man you know Seth, Seth another, is... another appearance of uh, uh the indie thunders eric rodriguez one. oh whoa <laughs> he, he met indy oh, and take two yeah, i'm, gonna have to edit I, I, that I'm out. sorry you know i'm from california it's all good man. i played there for seven years it's a yeah, fair fair know. mistake Oh, you know, exactly. I still call the, the, the commanders the Redskins. When we play the Redskins, so, you know. And that's I, inappropriate and, and offensive. And I, I, I know. Man, but you, hey, when you call something so, so the same name for so many years, it takes it takes effort to to remember all these things, man. It takes no, I feel you on that, though. I, I, Redskins, they were that forever. Like, yeah, when you said commanders, sure. I'm like, who's he talking about for his name? Yeah, no, it, <laughs> it, it, didn't flow it. Off the, it didn't flow off the tongue very easily easy at the beginning and stuff but you know i um i'm totally on board with things being uh, politically correct and doing things for the right reasons the the only disappointment i have with that is, and i'm no washington fan but their their song hail to the redskins like you know most songs like teams <laughs> have are extremely corny uh, but I, that, that was kind of a cool little jam Hail victory. (laughs) (laughs) Who's your team, E? You guys actually love this. I'm a huge 49ers fan. Oh, we won't love that. We both hate the 49ers with a passion. I thought you live in San Francisco. I live in San Francisco. Hey, hey, neither of us live in San Francisco, but that 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 doesn't prevent anybody from hating the 49ers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I've just always been a big 49ers fan. Oh no. I hate the 49ers. There's nothing there literally there's nothing more I hate than the 49ers. Almost. Who do you follow? Who you I'm guys follow? Cowboy. 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 Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm a Cowboy. <laughs> Uh, I'm a Cowboy fan forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. That's why I'm saying I've been calling the Redskins for the Redskins for so long because you know I've been, uh, you know, I've been a Cowboy fan since I was four, and so it's just been a you know a constant thing with me over all these decades. So, but no, I, I'm a Cowboy fan. I, I'm a Raiders fan. I hate the Chiefs. I hate the 49ers, and on my fantasy, <laughs> on my fantasy the football Raiders. team. On my fantasy football team, I have Pat Mahomes and the San Francisco defense. So, hey, work- you're in a good spot, son. Hold up. <laughs> no, I, I I mean, it's hard. You know, I still hate them, but it's hard. You're like, I might be in a good, a good little seat, you know what I'm saying? It worked That's out perfect. It worked out perfect last night because the Chiefs lost and Mahomes got me like 30 points. So. That's, well, if I win, that's a good combination. <laughs> Maybe I needed one of his 45 point games. <laughs> just a little show. Just yeah. a little show. Long ways to go. But uh, anyway. You know, the fantasy gods giveth and they taketh away. True enough. So, what? so you know. What? So, so, so to what? To what do we owe this? This 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 convening of of the Beatball Blue Show and Eric Rodriguez's appearance. What? Well, we were going to have a show either way, um, but I got <laughs> Eric back here because while you were gone, mm. um, going going back, uh, we hit we have both clips, so uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play them or whatever. But uh, you know, Eric Eric had made a comment. The um, talking about the women's game that I wanted to respond to at the in the moment, and I kind of let it go, and I, I it bothered me that I never responded. So 
I, I responded on the following show, which in the end I, I didn't think was a huge thing. And I think Eric and I could have just kind of worked it out, but I don't know. There, there's a couple parts to this. We'll just stick to the first part first. <laughs> the, I, I didn't represent E as good as I could have. Um, so, you know, I, you know, Eric and, and everybody else that's a friend of our show, you know, if I, I or you or we or whatever don't represent them, you know, uh, the right way, they're always welcome to come back. We don't need help from Benny or anybody else. <laughs> we, we could always figure it out. Eric, because I'm, go ahead. So. No, 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 no I, I was just laughing. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I, um, I, I'm going to set up a screen share, but um, like if you want to respond to any of that, Eric, before um, like we play the audio, you, you know, feel free to jump in. Oh, feel yeah. Free. No, I, I, I basically just wanted to come on and, you know, just have a maybe a little discussion or whatever, kind of clarify like what I was meaning, clarify where you were coming from. I mean, I definitely don't have any hate towards you. I just figure, you know, right we kind of live in the, the day and age where, you know, sometimes you got to clarify what you was meaning because, you know, some people might just take what you say out of context. And like, I, I just wanted to clear the air. I just figured it'd be smart. I'm cool with that. And I like clear, like, you know, I like it. It's hard to respond to something like, uh, I, you know, I guess it, it wasn't a good plan on my part. It's hard to respond to something afterwards. You know what I mean? Because then we can't have a oh, conversation yeah. about it. Like, what? Uh, like, why, did, hey, why, did, why didn't you bring it up at the moment, Neil Dog? I wanted to, and then like he and Aaron C started talking because you know the wool game got. We were we were getting close to the. It end. It was anyways. really chaotic. That was the thing. Like honestly, we we really could have just Neil could have probably said something about it, but like that episode with me, Aaron, and Corey and everybody, it was just it was very chaotic. I, I won't even blame it on that. Like for me, it was, it was right towards, we are already kind of getting close to wrapping up. Um, we started talking about the all-star game and the lack of inclusion with women. I've, I've been disappointed that there's only two out of the 34 players invited. And that's what prompted Eric to re uh, uh, make his comments. And I wanted to respond, <laughs> but then he and Aaron both started talking about wool and how disappointed they were that the game got canceled and they were supportive. Like, you know what I mean? It just kind of went, a little bit more in a different direction and I, d I just chose not to circle back but then it sat with me and and so that's why I, I i mean i wish i had you know if i could go back and redo it i would but i just chose to let it go and it, and it stayed with me so uh, uh, the screen share. Press F6 to switch between. i've done the screen share let me windows go M, desktop. to where we got the guys going so. can you, what's that I said we got the jaws going. Yeah, today, so. I'm going I am gonna turn it off uh, for now. Speech on demand. All right, so um, I'll I'll pause it after uh, Eric Eric's comment. And see if either of you want to say anything or whatever before I play mine. Here's Eric. Let's just let, let's just address the elephant in the room. Like beat ball, the ball weighs a, a pound, man. It, you know, like, th this sport is unfortunately just catered to guys. That's just how it is because it, it, you kind of have to be strong to hit the ball hard. But you don't have Ooh. to be strong to play good defense. And, you know, <laughs> they do matter. They definitely do. Like, Kalari Gertley, shout out to her, one of the best female players I've ever seen. We got to give them that love, man. I, and I think if we had, like, you know, like you said, at least two or four girls that can make it out there for their accomplishments, I think they should be recognized. <laughs> well, that's all I have from that. Oh, like that beatball was, TMZ. Hey, that, <laughs> hey, that was that, that was. I laughed because, um, like, if I if I would have been on the show, I would I would have said something about that. Just how it was, uh, kind of uh, put out there. Now, perhaps you you know you had the best of intentions or whatever, but how you worded that, I, I would I would assume gave a. I don't know. I don't know what you're exactly trying to, you know, what I, I don't know. I can't get into your mind, but how that, how that's laid out, um, you know, e even myself, I, you know, I, I have a daughter who plays a lot of sports, you know, um, I, I, I myself might, might've, uh, found how that was laid out a little bit of, uh, offensive or irritating, 
So I'm just saying, but I, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying, just giving you my, 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 my snap judgment hearing that, uh, hearing that. So, so yeah. I, 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 I probably would have brought something up right away at that point, but that was just my snap judgment hearing it. That's all. Yeah, you no, you can say what you you're good, bro. All right. So, hey, everybody's in something I'll today. share. <laughs> something I'll share with you also, Eric. In between the two shows, um, a, a player that I, I've never interacted with before sent me a message, uh, mostly just about the show and and giving mm-hmm. us props for doing the show. Um, but also, it's like you know, uh, mentioned in the conversation, like it, it sounded like Eric was like saying this and like saying and. Literally, the comment was sounded like he was saying women aren't strong enough to play beat baseball. And I was like, you know, I really don't know. I wish I had responded to it because I, you know, it, it's bothered me that I didn't like explore that a little further. So is there anything you want to say to either like the, the feedback I had or or what? Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. No, I got you. I was just letting you finish. Yes. Um, no, I mean. Yeah, I mean, especially after hearing that right back verbatim, like you know, all I'm, all I was saying with that is, you know, there, there's not, there's, I, I, I don't want anybody to get mad at me for saying this, but like, there's not a woman in this league that can hit a ball over the third row, and that was basically what I was meaning is like, there's some hitters like Kalari, Faith, you know, like they do hit the ball harder than a lot of the other girls. I think even Hillary hits pretty hard. I've, I've seen her do pretty well, and. All I was saying is, like, there's no girl that's hitting a home run. That was basically what I was getting at. I wasn't saying that, like, they can't hit or they can't play beatball. But, you know, it's I, – I I don't know. This just seems like one of those situations where I probably – you know, you can't really win. You're just going to make somebody mad a little bit. You might, yeah, it's just one of those – one of those situations, I think. In in the end, I definitely I, don't think women shouldn't be in beatball, though. That that's number one thing. Like, shoot, I think they have their place just like all dudes do. No, and in your to your credit, um, you you said on the show when you were on previously, that you have a friendship with Caitlin Overshiner, and you've you've been like trying to help her and improve her game or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, I've I, been helping her a lot. Actually, one of the things we work on the most with her is trying to get her to where she can hit the ball better but you know one of the things I will say she is very realistic about is like I've told her I'm like there's a good chance you might not ever hit a ball to like a deep left guy you know like you can hit a ball over a shortstop's head or maybe you clear the second row if you really get a hold of one but like my goal with her every time is let's make you a better hitter let's not focus on hitting like a guy Let's just make you be better than where you are. See, and see, I would just say <clears throat> I have issues with it because, you know, a, a, as a power hitter, right, I looked at a whole bunch of dudes that couldn't hit the ball anywhere near where I could. There's a, hi. There's a whole – no, Hi, everybody. Of, facts. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> hi. You're back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. I mean, where people couldn't clear the third row or even the second row. I've, I've seen players like that. Dudes do that. All my career, you know, for, Dude, for 30 years. He ain't so clearing the second a, row, man. It, it's not, I'm just saying, it's not a, when, when we break it down, like, oh, well, there, you know, there are no women who could do that. Well, A, I'm sure there are. Uh, but B, there's a, not a lot of guys who hit a home, hit, who hit home runs. That that club is very, very small. Right. When you when you look at the actual number of, of, of dudes who have actually played the sport, very few of them actually put it out there 100, 170 feet. Um, so, I mean, in the end, it's just it's just kind of how it's it, 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 it's phrased. It, it seems like it's like, yeah. oh, you know, the women aren't they'll 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 never get to that that and and, and in the end, you might get women who can do that, right? It, everybody has to work on their the, the their mechanics and all that stuff. Um, but in the end, the the, the 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 reality is, dude, you know, there are a lot of guys that can't do it. So, so it's really right. not. And it's just not something really that really needs to point. kind of be brought up or whatever. But go ahead. I'm sorry. No, that's, ahead. I think that's a, no. You're good. Yeah, I think that's a really good point to add to it. It's like you know, it, it was never. I, I meant no malice behind it. Like like I said, I, I've been working with Caitlin for a while. Like she one of the people that taught me beatball when I first started was Kalari Gertley. She was one of the first people helping me with defense, you know, encouraging me to go out here and do it. So it was more so like, you know, like Seth said, there's just not a lot of guys that shoot, they think I'm the best player right now and I haven't I've never hit a home run. You know what I mean? So it's like hitting a home run or being a power hitter, that's a select few of us to begin with. 
as I guess as men, like I mean, it's it's yeah, no, like just, where, there, there's where a I, lot of problems. Where uh, I was trying to go with it, and, and I don't even think we need to. I mean, we could play my clip if you want, but I don't even think we need to. Just talking this out. Where I was trying to go with it, and it wasn't like Eric said this, Eric said that, and I I'm mad at Eric. I have encountered from both men and women a a narrative that women are can only play defense and i'm not arguing like in, against anything eric said as far as like the equality and power i mean i i there's like there's no scientific proof from beatball that i could say so and so is hitting just like you know Corey white or whatever we didn't we don't have anything that says that my point is i don't want to just paint women players in a corner as as defensive players and, and i don't even think we should it's a co-ed sport i mean we're both involved i don't even think we need to say who's better at this who's better at that let's just try to develop them like any other player and try to improve it so they can help the offense maybe not become home run hitters whatever but help the offense and, and my my if there's any anger hurt it's because i know from my my involvement with the sirens this year that there are some players that have been on teams that haven't been given a lick of coaching so i i mean i i want to get away from the narrative that they they're only going to be good at this or that let's just develop all yeah. our players and where i tried to tie it because eric you you had mentioned how you, you know, you were kind of bragging about it. It's like, Neil, man, remember when they said kids can't play? And it's like you and Corey <laughs> and Miguel and Corian and, and Tyler. And I believe even G was a teenager. Like, you guys changed the narrative because you were the right combination of youngsters that were able to go out and do that. So, again, yeah. I, it's like, let's take that attitude. Let's let's find the right combination to to change the narrative for the women players and support it and coach them up just like oh, with yeah, the male players that, i mean that was the whole reason i wanted to come on here is because like at the end of the day that's what matters it's like and like this is it's honestly been fun like working with caitlin because you know she's she's brand brand new to beatball so it's like yeah she don't know anything so anything i tell her she's taking it you know like like it's like it's gospel you know so like i want I know one of the things I was blessed with in this game was like, I came into really good situations where there were people that understood defense, understood like how hitting works. They, they taught me all the fundamentals that I needed. And, you know, here we are 11 years later. And like, you know, I think that plays a very instrumental like role in my success. And like, no, I think just one of the biggest problems in general in the league is there's a lot of people that don't know you're supposed to lead with the head when you go for a ball. You know, I mean, you have to, like, focus on your consistency over power when you're at the plate. You know, like, there's a lot of things that yeah, yeah. in our world, you guys being the dogs, you guys knew this stuff. But, like, you know, a lot of teams aren't informed. And yeah, but you're exactly right. There are a lot of teams that have not. It's, it's not just the women players. There are a lot of players that haven't had good coaching. A lot of teams that haven't yet had, had good coaching. You, you've got to come up with first J.T. Herzog. And then, right. uh, and then Jared, Jared Woodard, Woodard and Darnell Booker. <laughs> I was I mean, blessed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I consider Jared Woodard a little bit of a genius on defense himself. So, and I don't put a lot of people in that category. So you've you've been around a, a lot of good coaching. Um, so there, there's kind of two parts where DB came into to play here, um, Seth. And <laughs> one was just responding to my response. So I don't know if that makes playing my response more important or not. But, I mean, in the end, he just um, – like I, I hadn't – the show was posted on Saturday. I, I didn't get on Facebook again till Monday night. Um, Frank, Frank was out of town and couldn't do the YouTube edit until Monday. And we had been communicating and I was waiting for um, Frank to uh, finish up the edit so that I could upload the, the video to YouTube. And so I got on Facebook going through some notifications and there is one that DB had commented on my video. And he, he acted like I just took everything Eric said and turned it upside down and made up all kinds of new stuff. And I, like I thought his reaction was just it didn't characterize what I was saying, what I was trying to do in any way, shape, or form. No big surprise. But I didn't delete his wild. comment. I'll just say it for you. He was wild. <laughs> I did yeah, not I mean, feel that way. 
and, 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 Eric and, 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 you know. and I have a question. Yeah. And, and we care why? No, in the end, <laughs> like, like, it, we care about hey, we this care is about the D, first part. We care, yeah, we care about DB's opinion I agree. for I've, for what reason? I right? I've, I've, been, <laughs> I've been telling people the same thing uh, yeah, uh, before this. Before this, like he he caused this big problem between the women of our league and the sirens, just because it's something he has nothing to do with, and he causes them to have to have a like sit down and conversation just because he's sticking his nose in being a an idiot and i was saying the same thing to each of them seth i'm like why are you guys caring what db is saying <laughs> there, there's no reason for it so like i did totally i didn't delete his comments i didn't respond to him i didn't care but i did reach out to eric i was like man i don't agree with what db is saying but you know, if you feel the same way, we need to talk about it or whatever. And even from that, like you know, Eric and I exchanged a few messages, and it wasn't a like a big deal. And I wasn't planning on doing another show, but um, this is where things get a little bit ugly. I told Eric if he didn't want to stay for for this part, he doesn't. Hey, have to, no, you know? all right, let's go, baby. All right, let's do but, it. so. Like Tuesday night, I again hadn't been on Facebook that much. I get a text from somebody saying, "Hey, you know, I want you to know I think DB's comments were out of line, and and I reported them to Beatball Nation, and and the admins took down his comments." Um, I mean, just because again, like he's irritated that that I, whatever I said in response to Eric's comments, he started he spreading rumors of, like. Um, Neil's just doing this as a favor, trying to get uh, favors coming back his way from the from the ladies. I mean, he didn't, he didn't. I never even saw the comments or whatever. But just the fact that he would go suggest that, just because I I make comments he doesn't like. I mean, what? Well, I, I don't get it, man. It, it's over I, the top. I, I, I got it. I got it. Yeah, he, I know. He, okay. I mean, do you want me to attack? Yeah, me? go me? ahead. You okay. know what saying. This, I, this is your show. This part. This is all for you. <laughs> hey, this this is who this man is, right? And yeah. this is why I kept saying, man, I'm not down for everybody legitimizing him as if he's a real individual, yeah. right? He he's he's a he 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 he's a low light, right? And and he, all he wants to do is stir up the pot and do the crazy stuff. I hey, I don't even know why we waste our time in it. If if, if he was saying that stuff anymore. about me, I would have rolled by him and said, man, you know, screw you. I got no time for you. But, I don't but like who, that he tried to drag other people in. Like uh, I, you know. what, what I've been doing with Wool, I've been doing since Faith has been on the show, going back the first time over three years ago. My 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 relationships with the people I've gotten to know through Wool mean a lot to me. The relationships I've made with the people and the players and the leadership on the Sirens mean a whole lot to me. The fact that he would dirty any of it. For no reason, just because he doesn't like what I'm saying on the show, makes me want to slap his fucking face, man. Uh, and that's a, and that, and, hey, and that's how it should be, man. I mean, you know, he's a he's man. A you know, punk, man. I um, it, I, honestly, you know, like with hanging out with Caitlin, I was actually like, I saw you saw me now. I was over there. I like, yeah. I, I was actually around the sirens a lot, and yeah, I ain't go. That was a good time. Like, it's not they're not bad people at all. I mean, like, you know, it's definitely different That's... coming from, like, a, you know, a championship team versus going to their bench. But it's like, they see, they have Who are you like telling? You're just visiting. Time, You're just visiting. I'm part of that bench now. Right. I was say you were there <laughs> saying. Like, I couldn't be like, happier nah. to be there. I couldn't be happier nah, to they, be there. They, seem, to, they seem like a good group of people, man. And at the end of the day, what I think it comes down to is if people are having fun playing ball, regardless if they're winning or losing, I'm game. I'm for it. In, I the am end, for it. in the end that's that's all it should be for all of us really but i i told you seth that i have a confession an, an apology and a promise and it's not just to you it's to to everybody that follows us on this show i i confess and you people don't know how little you and i say this to each other in oh. over 30 years it, it, it we can count on one hand when we said these words to each other you were right. I was wrong. <laughs> you were oh, right. Oh, I was man. wrong. I <sighs> see it with a million percent clarity. I know it bothered you that I've been throwing his name on the show sometimes and I was doing stuff with him. Like, I 
Or, I believe, like, I, I, I mean, I don't, I'm embarrassed I've had to reach this point literally three freaking times. But <laughs> I, I, I'm embarrassed I had to reach this point again. Like, I think that because we both are doing something for the league, that we can just be mutually respectful and do what's well, Neil, best for the league. Uh, Neil, like, one of the things I've noticed about DB is, um, you know, I've known this man for years, man. He is so good at calling the games. Like when, when there's a game on and he's there with you know whoever is giving him the visual play by play duty is phenomenal. He's got stats. Like he, yeah, that's no, where he, he really thrives. That. I'll give him. That's that. where he thrives. Like where he struggles is when he gets to going on you on uh, Facebook or he, he gets to you know just running his lips outside of that. DB in the games, phenomenal. It's where he really makes the enemies and he makes us have episodes like this is when he gets to typing on Facebook. He's almost like the beat ball Donald Trump. It's kind of funny. Hey, 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 but I, 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 per, I, I personally turn him off when I hear him on the, the thing. The only reason I listen to the, the to him on the championship game, because it was a championship game. But otherwise, man, I hear TB, I turn him off because I don't, I don't want to give him any support or any sort of cred or any, any love any any way. Cause he's, he's not, he's, he's not a good person. Him. He's, right. gonna, He's not yeah. a good person. That's and, where and, I say and, I'm and embarrassed. I don't think he should represent our sport. Everybody's down with him. What for what reason? I have no idea. Right. But, you know, hey, I guess if he's, he's a good play by play guy, but that's not, you know, there's standards of, of decency and he doesn't he doesn't hold those things. So that that when I say I'm embarrassed, that's exactly why. Because, I mean, you know me, Seth, better than like my blood relatives know me. I, I don't think there's anybody in the world that knows me better than you do. I don't give shit bags a lot of chances. Like really? I'll I'll sometimes get when somebody's shown me they're a shit bag, I'll sometimes give them like uh, a second glance but i'm it's not one and done for me man i am no, not tolerant of shit bags and i've given this Zero motherfucker tolerance. three chances at yeah. least yeah no you are and there's no reason for it he's he's not worthy of it man there, you know <laughs> there's some people you can see a glim a glimmer of like hey man there's a reason to, to try to work with this person but but he has never shown he anything uh, and 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 I again I I am totally uh, you know incensed with the with the level that the NBBA has allowed him to you know infiltrate himself into the into the sport man Fuck you. he's not a good he, he's not Fuck a good you. representative he's not a Fuck good you. ambassador um, Fuck you. and and the 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 the, the, be- the quicker he rides off into the sunset <laughs> the, the 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 better off for everybody else the less controversy we have to deal with. Well, because I well, owe it to that's you. That's kind of the thing about it. I mean, th- this is kind of a whole different thing, but like DB is one of the, he's one of those cats that's really stepped up. Like, you know, like you can say what you want about him. Like this is the problem we face in just beat ball affairs in general. It's like, we're very limited with the foot soldiers we have. And DB is one of those limited foot soldiers that's willing to go out here and do stuff. And, you know, maybe that, is a testament to maybe we need to step hey, up a little hey, bit. Hey, that, a that, that's nice. That's nice. You shouldn't, nobody should let him go do stuff, right? It I mean, be, but you know. if there's nobody else to do stuff, <laughs> hey, then, hey, so, hey, so, hey. We excuse, hey, so we excuse it, right? Hey, we, excuse I'm not it? saying we excuse it, but if there's nobody else that we can hey, but, hey, but, go do the job, then whatever hey, you it's say, slim pickings at that point. Hey, whatever you say, I'm not going to excuse him, but, right? Hey, that but means you're giving him an excuse. Right. And all I'm saying is that what what does he do that's so, so critical? Right. I mean, the NBBA doesn't function without DB. Really? He I holds didn't say the, that. I'm just saying, I yeah. mean, he, that to now he's him, just talking now. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just giving, I'm not saying you, I, I'm just giving as a, this is how he feels and yeah. has felt for a long time. Yeah. And this all has nothing to do with this, you know, whatever this, this, this little conversation. I, I, yeah. I, every time, you know, I would say the same thing to Richie every time Richie has him on the big the the big noise podcast and all that stuff. I have the same issue, the same issue. Hey, it's great he does all this stuff, but he's not the person to who, who's the ambassador of the sport, and so that's a disqualifying thing, regardless of what else he does. That's where I stand. Kind of yeah. responding a little bit to both. I definitely one... wouldn't call him the ambassador. 
No, what you say? He has but, his moments, I guess, is what I was getting at. He said he definitely wouldn't call him an, an, an ambassador. But uh, so just kind of responding a little bit to both of you. Like one said, that's something that bothered me while I was at the World Series, because in our last episode before the World Series, when I I called him David Prince Benny or whatever, and then we ended up having to talk about it because you you asked me that because I was like, man, we're we're just both trying to do something good for the for the league, and you're like, yeah, but this uh, do you just forget everything else? And I had no answer for that, and right. that question rung in my head during the whole tournament. It's like I don't like not having an answer for that, and well, I mean, I do have an answer for that, I guess, and it's like no, we we shouldn't. You're right. right. We shouldn't. And, and uh, like, but I think Eric kind of makes a legitimate thing that has nothing to do with him as much as the position we are in with our sports. Sometimes, sometimes we have like spotters we, that we don't see eye to eye with. Sometimes a team might have a pitcher like, who offends have them. No and if you sometimes. don't have a backup, yeah, if you don't yeah, have a backup. Like, it, it's, it's something I've seen literally almost every year being a part of beatball, being a part of, you know, the Comets, the Thunder, and now the Edge. Like, Sometimes there's people that, you know, they, they might not be the most, you know, grade A civilian, but they they do pull their weight. And sometimes you it sucks. You have to overlook things. That's just how it goes in life. Like I mean, that's just <laughs> I, life I, in I, general. I, I, and I 100% understand that. It's just not something I will ever be willing to overlook with this guy, ever. No, right? I ever, you, ever, I, ever, I've definitely ever, ran into cats ever. like that before. <laughs> so there something are, you taught me a long time ago seth i think he took this from bill parcells when he was coaching the cowboys talking i think he was referring to terrell owens there's production and tolerance it's like is db yeah. producing so much that we should tolerate that he's racist and chauvinist yeah, 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 yeah. in the yeah. end like i've i'm never gonna say yes to that no we shouldn't yeah. tolerate that yeah. um i don't i don't accept any of that um I told you there's an apology, and that's more to you than anybody. I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, we only got to this point because of me, Seth Doc. I, I realized, so I apologize. And I promise we'll never get to this point again. I promise you that. We will never get to that point again. I uh, believe it, Neil Doc. We will never ever get to that point again. That that phone call I got alerting me of his his crude um, recommendations yeah, about right. why I'm doing what I'm doing. Yeah, that right. that 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 was it. I I literally blocked him on Facebook the second I got off the phone. I I reached out to Richie. I'm not going to be part of the public relations committee anymore. I will not. I've been saying this anyway, like I told Eric and them when we did the Ed show. I'm not going to be part of the All Star selection stuff anymore. I support what okay, what my my three amigos are doing time. in San Antonio. I, I support Tappy and Mind's Eye for getting involved, but they've they've got a devil in their bed, and I'm not going anywhere near it. If there's uh-huh. anything that involves him. The answer is no. I will not be part of it. This oh. isn't just for today, DB. Fuck you today. Fuck <laughs> you tomorrow. And fuck you for the rest of your life, you little fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I'm there hey. with you. I am oh, done with you. Make your smart ass comments when I'm two feet away. Yeah, not when I'm 2,000 feet, uh, 2,000 miles away. Uh, we'll de- I won't come out here and respond on the show. We'll just talk about it right there. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Make your cute little Good comments. And welcome uh, to the no, no, I, when I was talking about all that tail wagging the dog stuff that I was irritated about, man, there I ran into just so much uh, DB being in the way of stuff uh, uh, the, the, this summer. Richie, you know, people have been saying, man, they should put you and DB in the booth uh, with Rosina and have like a Monday night football like little thing. And Richie wanted to do that, but DB said no. Um, Richie wanted to start sharing our show on, on the Facebook page, DB, not anybody else. He didn't talk to Richie about it or anything. DB went on the MBBA page and deleted our show off there. Um, and, and he asked Jerry's support to do this stuff. And their argument is that, well, if major league baseball 
ever goes to your YouTube page and sees this episode or that episode, that could cost us sponsorship. What, yeah. DB being yeah, a racist yeah. and a chauvinist and sending people to Beatball Nation where he puts up all his bullshit? That that won't hurt the MBBA? Kiss my ass with that no, attitude. No, it's just, it's this these freaking excuses that they make for people, right? And, it, and it's bullshit. And, 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 remember, <laughs> and, and remember, right, none of them were making any freaking excuses for Darnell Booker. Right, none of them fools. So, so I got no, I got no tolerance of it. I, you know, I, I the, 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 that's the, a really, the, that's a the, really good, poignant <laughs> observation, man. Uh, no, they make excuses for DB. DB can do whatever, right? Darnell disrespects, kind of doesn't even right says something out of line to somebody, and he loses his whole position, right? No, that's BS, man. Is BS, and I, I, I don't, I don't hear anybody that's like, oh no, well he does good for the game. BS, bullshit. Do better. Find somebody better. Oh, that's ridiculous. Find somebody less offensive. Like their <sighs> stuff, their stuff. I can't even share because it was shared with me privately. This man. That's why I'm so pissed off that he questions like my intentions with any of the <laughs> women in the league. Uh, where I'm coming from, the conversations he has off the record with the women in our league are disgusting. Like he he's a fucking pig, man. Oh yeah, he's a yeah. fucking pig. I, I man, dude, I, I've seen some DB moments where I was like, oh my, just just cringe, yeah. just cringe. Man, I uh, I, I'm for now I'm still on the rankings committee because really the only one I deal with uh, with that is is Demo. But well, I I had to leave the public relations. I, I anything. Don't waste your time asking me anything involving <laughs> DB. The uh, answer will be no. We and he's not DB anymore. He, that's Cooter. 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 <laughs> CB. Cooter Benny. A little oh, Cooter oh, less Benny. <laughs> Cooter uh, Benny. I'm I'm not going to talk about the origin of that word. How I learned it. Not even go get into what it means. That's this little cooter Benny, CB. Well, those refer if we have to refer to it, that's CB. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm good with that. You know, hey, you know, you know cooter. uh, cooter's just funny. I like cooter. I say you know uh, from now on, like unless he does anything like off the wall, like y'all y'all really just got to leave him alone. Like that's no, got to be. I'm the not play. gonna see. I'm not gonna see. I mean. I know I can't stop him from saying things that are going to be offensive involving me or the show. I'm not going to see it. Right. I blocked his ass. I will never, ever unblock his ass. Uh, I'm done reading DB. Uh, I, I'll, I'll be a happier person. Uh, be a happier person. I don't want to waste my time on him, man. He's, he's taking up too much of my time out, as it is. Fair enough. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Hey, uh, I mean, I don't really have a lot to touch on. I assume you guys, if we've, we've all probably beat this horse. Um, since I have the screen share up, um, I was going to see if you guys wanted to end on kind of a fun note. I've been taking like little outtakes um, from the show since we started doing, since I've been editing the podcast. Right. <laughs> and yes. I have one where, one that's like 45 seconds long where Eric's kind of the punchline, gives the punchline. And one that's like 20 seconds long where Seth gives the punchline. Like my plan is to like at the very end of the year, like the very last, you know, like on New Year's Eve or something, just Do put like out a collage like a, or some sort. Yeah, nothing too long. Who wants to listen to like a half hour of outtakes? But you know, the best the ones I find the best. And so so far, these rank up there. You guys, you guys want to check them out? Yes, yes, we do. Yes, all right, all right. yeah, Lay let's do it. it. Lay it on us. Disappointment. <laughs> Before we start the show, any of you want to record a little intro for the uh, podcast? Just simply saying, hey, this is so-and-so. Thank you for checking out the Beatball Blues show. Yes? No? Maybe? All right. I was say, you guys think. froze. <laughs> All right. I can do it for you, Neil. You just right. say... Uh, yeah, just say, hey, you know, I mean, I honestly introduce yourself however you want. You know, this Aaron C., your defending champion, Indian Edge. Thank you for listening to the Beatball Blues show. Something like that. Anyway, you, any way you want to. Hey, yo, this is Corey, the walk-off king. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, you didn't Stop finish. Lying to you, gotta, you gotta say the whole thing. <laughs> I like it. Say the whole thing. Right over there. 
Ooh. You gotta shout out the Beat Ball Blues, man. Right, right. Yeah, he right. just shouted himself out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funny. Anyway, here the here here is the the winner in the clubhouse thus far. We still got a few months to go. It, it's not a problem in Beat Ball, though. That that's like a problem in our world. Like, and 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 I for sure. I feel ugly because I I'm a white male. But I mean, uh, uh, it, you, you're not ugly because he's a white male. Man. <laughs> he's ugly because he's ugly. Come on. <laughs> oh shoot! That is never not funny. To me. <laughs> that is never that not funny. That is ruthless. <laughs> so now you're ugly because you're ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not lead people astray. <laughs> oh, snap. oh, that was funny. That Jeez. was funny. I think I stopped the screen share. Now, those are two good ones right there. <laughs> yeah, those are good. Can't wait to see the end of the year. Yeah, fun putting them together. <laughs> all right. That all is right. all I have. Good. Man, we've, we've got more fun type stuff. That we, I promise, will be powering through going forward. Oh, Beatball Jeopardy. Oh, we finally can get to do Beatball Jeopardy. I got maybe. all sorts of questions. Maybe. I'm ready to be uh, uh, the new Alex Trey Beck. I could do this thing. All right. All right. Have, all you right. Per- have you purchased hey, our prize you know, from Dot Shop yet? <laughs> yeah, no, not quite yet. <laughs> I was going to say, I guess we could leave it off with something a little more positive. I was going to say, like, I really like what you guys have been doing with the show. I think, like, you know, you guys being here, it helps get more of like the knowledge out to the league. It helps just keep more, keep everybody informed. You know, you kind of like get a little bit of gossip here and there. You get some stats thrown at you. It's a little mix of everything. I like what you guys are doing. I would say I want y'all to keep it going. Right. I know a lot of people all, like all, this show. Hey, information, man. All love to Neil Dog, man. You know. He he he, 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 dri- he drives it, man. He he he's got all that stuff together, man. He 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 drags me along with him. Like I said, I'm I'm just here for controversy, but he and does comedy, a good job. yeah, and comedy, comedy and controversy. <laughs> man. Give me the give me the C's, man. But that but Devil I mean, Dog is the one who got that really impact. cool interviews. Like I, one of my favorite interviews was the Ma- the Eric Mazarego's interview y'all did. I learned a lot about him. Like, as far as, you know, all he's accomplished and everything, like, I just think it's cool, like, that we have, it, you know, it's something small, but, hey, we got something out there where, like, if somebody wants to learn about Zach Turner, he's got a place he can go do that. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. And I, I, uh, I came out of the World Series realizing that I, I haven't been as good as I used to at, like, going and finding, like, that new type stuff. And I think we're going to hit on some some of that a, as we go forward. I've got commitments from the Thunder, the Chaos, the <laughs> Tiger. Said, hey, this little this guy said, man, I want to hit on some new stuff. The Thunder. But we're going <laughs> to have players. Right. Really the first thing. <laughs> there are going to be players from the Thunder that haven't been on before. But also, ah, I mean, the Chaos, the Tigers. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're just gonna keep it rolling. I have no idea. It was like, we... was like, we're not having Rodriguez on until like next year. <laughs> he's banned. Uh, we'll probably have to, after all the things we said about Cooter, we'll probably have to do another show with Eric next week. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm gonna stop the recording, uh, but we're gonna keep rolling. We're probably gonna do most of the live recordings on Friday whenever we can, because that that's uh, gonna be best to get Seth in. Uh, yeah, but, but it's that's season, probably your best. That probably be your best time to get people to be able to actually see it too. You know, uh, with everybody just being off work and everything. Uh, well, grown been, folks, we ain't be, people shouldn't be going out partying any night, you know, on Friday night anymore. Sit down, listen to the Beatball Blue <laughs> Show, man. Right, our, I, our Seth, I am a man of God. I yeah, will sit right. here and watch watch the Beatball Blue <laughs> Show. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Man. Our, I'm saying. our release day has always been Sunday, and I've been complaining for this since the beginning. Like we hit football season, trying to get people to check out our show on <laughs> Football right. Sunday is a waste of time. So I do like putting the live. Honestly, Friday's a good day. It's a good day. Right. Well, as All long right. as people could do it. But it's going to be a while before we go to the every other week stuff because we just got stuff we got to jump in. 
So mm. gotta get uh, hey. I gotta reach out to the fire. I promised Nick Silver he could come on. He's upset about some things from the World Series. Uh. And even though I haven't got him on yet. I trust when we get him on, he's still going to be upset. So I feel good about that. Oh, I didn't know if you guys had um, happened to see the stats, but shoot, Chiwa just had like his best World Series ever as far as I can remember. Like stat-wise, I think he batted like 660-something and he had like 21 putouts at short right. That'd I got you guys. I got the email. I haven't gone through them. I got the email of the, the updated stats. And, of course, I looked at uh, some – um, you know, I, I looked through them when we were doing the all-star stuff, uh, when I was doing the all-star stuff for the last time ever. Um, <laughs> unless they kick DB out. Unless they kick DB out. That's true. No, actually, I mean, the the the, the boys know I got their back. I got nothing but love for Zach, Axe, and, and David. So, but I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah, can't do it. Smitty. Can't do it. Not going to be all done. I <laughs> totally forgot what I was going to respond to before all that, though. So I guess oh, it's really in the end not that important. <laughs> so, all right, man, let's just wrap it up. Yeah. All right, goodbye. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Yeah. You know, no you're problem, always bro. welcome, dude. I'll never, I would never intentionally throw you or any other guest under under the bus. So. Nah, I figured I I didn't think you did. That's why I just when you had texted me, I was literally going to text you that same day. You just beat me to the jump. What? So, we're all good. We're what, all good. I, I sent something as soon as I realized something had broke or whatever. I just I hadn't been on Facebook at that point in like two days. Um, the thing I was going to add in is your your boy, uh, Tyler, because uh, you brought up what he did. Like I was impressed with his year last year and this year. Like he he's really given like he's been a great player for for the fire. I'm really happy for how things well, have played you're out. You're right. Because like, I mean, he's really starting to hit harder. He's getting better at defense. You know, he's just – he's really starting to become a more rounded player. <laughs> you're going out – growing out of that girl stage, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit, <laughs> You set him up. You can't set him up. <laughs> right, I'll walk in that one. Yeah, you can't set him up. <laughs> Your mouth was open on that one. <laughs> but no, T.Y., when, when, uh, when I get the fire on, T.Y. is definitely somebody I want on. Like, because, uh, you know, uh, uh, I don't apologize apologize enough on this show i need to apologize to ty for totally blowing him off at the world series so he uh, oh, he'll man. definitely that be story in the was funny <laughs> he'll definitely he's be like who was that he's like well, i was ty <laughs> <laughs> oh man you know it's funny because he was with casey uh Krauss. i did that's the like same... his homie too you should have known Dude, that was the, the third time I saw Casey. It was the only, like, good meeting, you know? So I got all over Casey. <laughs> like, I'm in awe of him being a double all-star or whatever. Like, the Casey was the very first person I ran into at the at the hotel when I was on, on, on the way up in the elevator going to my room. And Casey jumps in the elevator. He's like, hey, what TV for? It's like, oh, you know, I'm just, I'm just here checking things out. He's like. Neil? It's like, yeah, it's like, right. Hey. He noticed your voice. Hey. He's like, hey, man, it's Casey. <laughs> and dude, the only Casey I could think of is Casey Scott, who played for the Archers like three <laughs> years ago. And I'm thinking, like, I'm no longer on a big blank. I'm like, why can't I think of it? I saw it, like, I went straight to the bar. So Shout I saw out it. to Krause, man. He was the oh, only dude. one that was on both sides of the ball this year. Yeah, Y'all nah, did me. Fucker. This is his second year, man. What what a start yeah, no, he's, his career. He's he's turned into a good player. Hey but, fellas, I thought this was all about dog and DB, man. I got a high school football game. I got yeah, fair enough. Few, oh, no, I'm just gonna say that. Dog and DB, so. I, I I ran into Johnny Ma in the bar like a half hour later, and as soon as it, I saw it was Johnny, it's like that was Casey Kraus, you idiot, man. I like I could not. I couldn't think of a second Casey. I, Casey Scott hasn't even played for the Archers in like two years. Like, I know that's not Casey Scott, but Casey who? I totally drew a blank. So I kind of blew uh, him I, off the same way I blew Tyler off a few days later. I've been there so many times in beatball where it's like, I know I know this person, but I don't remember your name. <laughs> it's like, it just, uh, it just uh, eludes you. And then they walk away be like an hour later, like, oh, that was so-and-so. Oops. <laughs> All right, let's get Seth Dog right. out of here. Thanks, yeah. E. Appreciate hey, and, you, and, man. And Eric, Eric, congratulations on the championship. I am so sorry I missed that uh, episode where you guys were, you know, your championship. Oh, no, you're good, brother. So appreciate sorry it. I missed it, man. You know, 
He looked, one minute he's like, oh, I was totally root for them because I hate the Jets. And now yeah. you're here and he's like, nah, all sarcasm. I'm like, oh, so sorry. Yeah, I missed no, you. Hey, hey, this guy's hey, an hey, asshole was, to everybody. Hey, like, hey, 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 it was one of those games that, you know, it's like, ah, oh, can't they just end in a tie and nothing wins? <laughs> Nobody wins. <laughs> uh, but it's all good. All right, well, good. Yeah. See you all guys right, later. Man. Talk to you. Yeah, you be safe, brother. All right, we will too, see man. you all next week. Everybody yeah. be well. All right, peace. David yeah. Benny alongside. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Have you ever felt like shutting the fuck up? This isn't just for today, DB. Fuck you today, fuck you tomorrow, and fuck you for the rest of your life, you little fucking piece of shit. 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 shit. Good morning and welcome to the...